Hi, and thanks for joining us. I'm Cheryl Johnson with Spectrum Health. Today we are at the Center for Acute Rehabilitation at Spectrum Health's Blodgett Campus in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And we're here to learn how technology helps patients recover from stroke, surgery, and severe injuries. Uh, our first piece of technology is the Vital STEM, and Lauren Mack is here to talk to us about that. She is a speech pathologist, and before we get started with that, Lauren, if you could tell us a little bit about the Center for Acute Rehabilitation. Sure. Um, our Center for Acute Rehab is located here on the fourth floor at Blodgett Hospital. Uh, we service a multitude of different diagnoses. Uh, we work with stroke patients, patients who have had traumatic brain injuries, surgeries, amputations, um, and our goal is to return them home with as much independence as possible. Um, so we work with an interdisciplinary team of doctors, nurses, and therapists. Um, we have physical therapy, occupational therapy, and speech therapy, as well as our recreation therapists who work with the patients um, comprehensively. Um, as a part of a larger health system, it's nice because we have a continuum of care where we can um, get the patient through the, the, the system seamlessly in order to provide the best um, system of care. So, um, yes, we are also certified by the CARP, which is the Commission of Accreditation on Rehabilitation Facilities, which is an honor to have, and we work very hard to keep that every year. Now, I understand that there's less than 2% of rehabilitation facilities that have that CARP accreditation. Is that true? It is. Wow. Okay. Yes. So would you like me to... Yeah, tell us about the type of patient that you work with, with the vital stem. Sure. Um, normally with vital stem, we work with um, dysphagia, so swallowing disorders that involve the oral structures or the pharyngeal or the throat muscles. Um, so this could be a patient with a stroke, a patient who has had a traumatic brain injury. Um, those are our main population. Sometimes there are random difficulties. Um, cancers also can affect the swallow if it's laryngeal. Um, so yeah, that's the main main patient focus group for this. Now, does it take a special certification to provide the Vital STEM technology? It does. Um, Vital STEM has its own program that we go through. So it's about 15 hours of online training to review all the anatomy and all the different systems of the swallow. And then you go to a course, it's a three-day course, um, where you can actually practice the manipulation of the electrodes and putting them on people to see how they work. So. Okay. Yeah. So is this it in this little bag? This is it. Everything condensed into one little package. Great. If you can yeah. show us how it works, sure. that would be great. Sure. So, so who is uh, who is our pretend patient this This is morning? Kim. She is one of our occupational therapists up here on the car unit. So I'll get everything out here. Okay. So basically, this is our system that delivers the currents. Okay. And there's two lines that connect. And then what you do is you connect these electrodes to, I believe I have one that's open already, to the current in order to get them through to the patient. So what happens is that we're going to activate the muscle through the periphery motor nervous system. So we don't actually, we have the, the nervous system has to be intact in order to get to the muscle. So if there's been a sever of the nerve, it's not going to work. Um, but basically it's used to build the strength of the muscle so the, the swallow function can be safer and more efficient. So, with swallowing disorders, it's usually a matter of speed or strength. Okay. When the muscles are weaker, obviously they're not going to close off the areas that they need to close off and aspiration can occur. Or, if the timeliness is less, the muscles are just not going to be ready okay. to close everything off. So this works on both, mostly strengthening the muscles. So basically, there's a bunch of different positions you can use. If someone is having trouble with their oral swallow, the muscles of their lips, the muscles of their cheek or their tongue, this will focus on the facial nerve, which will target all of those areas. So even though it's not touching the tongue or touching the lips exactly, it's innervating that nerve to strengthen those muscles indirectly. So again, this is for someone who may have had a stroke or, okay. Yes, exactly. Okay. Um, oftentimes when people have a stroke, they have weakness on one side as well. So we would still target both sides to make it even, but you could make one side stronger than the other because they're operated separately on this machine. And how new is this technology? Um, I believe it's been around for about 10 years or so. Okay. Um, and it is FDA approved and all of that. So. Okay. 
and let's see how it works. Sure, so I'm not actually going to shot Kim today. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, but I'm just going to show you the placements. So basically to hit the facial nerve, you go right in between the ear and the mouth here, and placement will be about right here. Now the electrodes have to have a firm um, connection with the skin, otherwise it can cause that burning or tingling sensation that's uncomfortable. Um, sometimes it helps to put a little drop of water to get it connect early or get it to connect um, strongly. With men, you have to be clean shaven. Um, so that's something to think about. You don't want to do it that day because it can cause the razor burn and irritation. So it has to be done the night before. So basically both of these are put on okay. about in that position. And then we turn them on and what it'll do, the facial placement is nice because you can see the muscle involvement. The eyes will start twitching, the muscles under the eyes will start twitching. Um, so that lets us know. Um, when I first turn it on, it'll feel tingly, and then it'll feel like a warm sensation, and then that's just the sensation component of things. So it's not painful. For it's the not painful. It's, I don't want to say it's an interesting feeling because that doesn't make sense, but it can be somewhat uncomfortable, but it's not intolerable at all. Okay. In the training, we practice on each other, so we always tell patients, I know what it feels like. I won't, I won't hurt you. <laughs> But once the motor component is involved, you'll start to feel it really pulling on your muscles. And then what kind of results are you seeing from this technology? We are seeing very good results. Um, some patients it works very well, other patients, you know, we try different methods. The thing with Vital Stim is you have to be doing functional activities in order to increase the muscle strength. So when these are on, you want to work on the actual chewing of food and the swallowing of food. And if you're not doing that, you can work on oral motor exercises to strengthen those muscles as well. So if it's just sitting on your muscles, it's not gonna do anything. You have to be activating. Um, there are also a couple pharyngeal placements. So you can do like this on the hyoid and thyroid. Oh, okay. You can do them this way. You can do them this way. There's a lot of different ways to do them. Yep, so depending on what we're targeting, whether it's the muscles of the throat with the constrictors, if it's the speed of the swallow or the strength of the muscles, we can focus on different areas. And there's charts to verify which one would be the best. So that's how we determine which position to use. Okay. Yeah. So before the vital stem, mm -hmm. how did you work with people who had a problem, who had problems swallowing or couldn't swallow? Sure. There's traditional therapy using those oral motor exercises, which we still use with the vital stem. It just kind of pushes things along. It gives more resistance. It allows the muscles to get stronger faster. Um, and then it was other, there's compensatory strategies. So tucking your chin down, turning your head. We don't use those with these in place because we want to return the swallow to his normal functional state. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you, You're Lauren. welcome. This was really helpful to learn about. You're welcome. And at 945, we're going to be talking about the our male robotic arm, which helps people recover from um, the lack of use of their arms. So we hope you'll tune in again. Thank you.